Here we are at the entrance of the reserve. As you can see, it is a man-gated entrance. Uh, they've got a beautiful gate, a lot of stone work, world-class development. We're going to go inside and take a look at some properties in there along with the facilities. Uh, Jack Nicholas Golf Course design and uh, absolutely fantastic development. Here we are at lot D2 in the reserve. This is a nice waterfront property in a cove. Uh, it is bank owned folks so there's going to be a good value here. Nicely treated as you can see. It's got a gradual slope. I tell you what, let's head on into the property, take a look at the bill site, then we'll head down to the water and show you what's available down there. Okay, here we are down at the bill site. I'm kind of on the back side of it, uh, the house. I see the deck kind of sitting right here looking out uh, at the nice view you have. As you can see, um, nice little cove in here. Water is down today about four or five feet, so down about as much as you'll ever see it down. And uh, coming back, looking back up the hill, here you'll see it's got really a nice slope, I think fairly perfect, uh, eight to 10 foot drop to do a basement home. And uh, I'd have some nice steps coming down here to the lake, but uh, very nice build site, nice lot. Got some nice trees in this area. Let's head on down to the water, get a little bit closer to there, and you'll see exactly far, how far over it goes. Because if you can look right through here, you'll see the riprap, and that's really where the lot ends. So you've got quite a bit of waterfront from that riprap coming all the way back into this cove. In fact, there's another dock uh, just left over here that we'll see when we get down to the water. Okay, I'm walking down the left line as we're facing the water. And actually from here, and you can see again, all the way to where the riprap is, is where the waterfront is. It's kind of shallow on this side, but if you get on over here, where you're gonna have the dock towards the middle, and then maybe do it out pointing that way, it's gonna be somewhat parallel to the shoreline a little bit, but uh, that should be plenty deep enough to be able to get your boat in. Now one thing I'd say is you can see the boats around the corner these are the boat slips for some interior properties in the reserve and if you go just around that corner that's where you are to the great lawn so it'd be an easy little trip to get over to the uh, pool area the clubhouse the beach the great lawn i mean literally you're just right through this the woods over here from that and a very short boat ride so if you got interest in this property give us a call 800-682-9098 this is a great lot and don't expect it to last long, so call as soon as you can. Here we are at the world class practice facility at the reserve. As you can see in the distance, the gentleman's up there hitting balls. This is a two sided practice facility. Uh, plenty of grass here. As you look over here, you've got this fantastic green. Let's see if we can make a putt. There we go. Oh, lift out. Look back over here to the left. Uh, they have a covered area even on a rainy day or if it's hot you want to get out of the sun. A uh, fantastic covered area that you can hit balls from. Uh, Restroom facilities, which you do not see very often, but a, a world-class facility here at the reserve to uh, sharpen your game. Here we are at a world-class croquet lawn, which the reserve has, which, again, you won't find very often, but uh, goes in hand with this mountain setting. If you look back at the clubhouse, great place to just sit out and enjoy a wonderful fall day like today. Uh, world-class food, entertainment, bar area. As we swing on around over here, you'll see another uh, putting green right before the number one tee box. We also look down over the valley at number 18, and wow, what a mountain view. Uh, You'll see mountains in every direction, and uh, if you want serenity and peace, this is a great place to sit back and just enjoy. Here we are at the uh, Reserve Tennis Clubhouse area. We have a uh, behind us in the building a nice workout facility. A uh, beautiful building, again, in keeping with that mountain feel and rustic look. I uh, just gotta love the, the colors and the, the colors of the rock and the, and the look of the whole facility. Swing back around, you've got uh, the tennis courts here, and uh, day like today, no wind blowing, It'd be a fantastic day to be out here playing. So uh, again, world class uh, facilities at the reserve. Here we are at the uh, swim facility here at the reserve, and uh, 
you know, multi-million dollar center, what they've done here is they've put it right on the lake. They're going to have a beach area down at the lake. And as we pan to the left, you'll see the first building is a, a open bar area. They'll have TV, cocktails, different things for the kids. Look around, you'll see the uh, adult side of the pool. Um, and which is a great thing because they've really split it up. As you see the buildings in the center, to the left of that, you've got the kids' side of the pool. They have pop-up water spouts, waterfall areas, uh, but an area designed for the children, you know, to kind of separate them away from the adults and have the adult side a little bit quieter. So again, uh, hand it through to the reserve. The look of it, the feel, the quality, uh, world class. Here we are at the reserve, what is called the Great Lawn lawn and if you look down boy it is great and it is long I mean all the way down to the lake and this is a special place because during like 4th of July uh, maybe bringing in the new year they'll have firework shows get-togethers and just a beautiful setting and, and again what a fantastic view of the lake and, and these homes that run along the sides uh, or homes that have been sold that run for over a million dollars and again another part of this world-class facility uh, at the reserve.